Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is the unboxing for the February Bambox Horror Box. And yes, it's back to kind of a brown, nondescript box at the moment. That's not where they're staying. They're going to get to something else. Um, real quick, I'm change I changed something with the audio for this. So if people could let me know down in the comments if the audio sounds a lot better than other uh, videos or a little bit better or worse or about the same whatever that would be helpful because then I can know going forward what's better for you guys um, the other thing is I'm doing this late um, I usually don't record super late like right before I go to bed but at the moment when I'm doing it it's like 10 30 at night I know for some people out there they're like only 10 30 at night that's no big deal but I work a job where I get up at 5 a.m. during the week and on a Friday night I'm just beat from the week so but I wanted to do this right now to A, just get it out to people, but also I like to get this done the same day I get it, and this box just showed up today. Uh, they did have a pretty big wait for this box just because they the autograph that they were supposed to have for it, they had a signing scheduled and it ended up getting canceled because the, the individual um, had some filming to do. So that lets us know that this individual who put the autograph in here um, is still working. So that's kind of encouraging. That's cool. Um, another thing, people, I, I mean, you can let me know how you feel about this. I don't know if it's the same people who are watching this unboxing versus the uh, pop culture one, but uh, I might be dropping the pop culture one. Not for March. I've already paid for that one, and that one is going to have something very special in it. But I may be dropping that one because it looks like my return view-wise on that one is not so great. Uh, even if it turns out that this one ends up being the same way, I might still get it because I just really like the horror stuff more. But if you've seen my unboxings for the pop culture one, I don't really like love those all that much. I'm not going to display them as much as the horror stuff. So, you know, but give me your opinion. Anyway, tissue paper. One, two, three. Three. I was thinking maybe there's four. I know what this item is. I don't know if this is going to be any good, man. The prop is... Eh, it is cool. I do like it, actually. Um, from the stuff... Okay, if nobody's seen the stuff, please go see it. Oh, also, I apologize. I've got, like, some conjunctivitis going on in the side. Yes, I know, that's gross. And this bright light is, like, making it kind of water, so because it's super sensitive. So I apologize. My eye looks really red, and it's, like, leaking. <laughs> terrible but anyway back to this uh if you have not seen the movie the stuff you should see the stuff it's a lot of fun it's one of those 80s films that that is just kind of like really out there and weird but a lot of fun uh, i believe it was a larry cohen film if i'm not mistaken i think so but yeah i mean the the logo looks exactly how it is the stuff and i assume i could put some stuff in this i mean this is you can see it there you can see in there like this is literally like one of those um ice cream containers that they have like i have a really good ice cream place not too far from me and they use the exact same things so this is probably pretty cheap for them to do but it looks really good so honestly i can't be too mad at that um because that's such a cool logo and it's a good movie so all right, I'm done with that. I usually don't like the prop replicas, but that's fine with me. That one's good. Um, here's... Oh, okay. Eh, okay. Okay. Me. Um, so a koozie. They've not done a koozie yet. So that's... Oh, there goes my cat on the tissue paper, if you can hear it. She loves it. Uh, so they haven't done a koozie yet in, as far as I know, any of their boxes. So that's fine. Uh, I just don't want to get a lot of koozies. So this is good for now. But Camp Crystal Lake. Um, sorry, I'm wiping my... <laughs> Camp Crystal Lake, that's cool. I don't, I mean, it. it's not, like, nothing about the actual design says Camp Crystal Lake, except for the fact that it literally says Camp Crystal Lake on it. Like, I'd like something else to make it, like, design-wise tie into Camp Crystal Lake. Like, maybe, like, a Jason mask in the background, or just have a Jason mask on it. And then, or maybe one side says Camp Crystal Lake, the other side has a Jason mask or something. But, like, the fact that it just says Camp Crystal Lake and it's yellow, like, the yellow ties in not at all. So, I don't know. But, I don't hate it. It's decent. I'm alright with that. Those are kind of bonus for me. You know me. 
I mainly care about the pin and the art print, sometimes the autograph. Okay, so the pin is by Brian Romero. I think I've heard, yeah, I think he's done ones before. So here we go. Okay. What is the, is this a crossover? I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, so it's it's Jason Voorhees, but are those like ski goggles? Or is that supposed to be that he's like um, Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe? Is it supposed to be like a crossover with G.I. Joe and it's like Snake Eyes? I don't know. I get a look at that again. You see what I'm saying? Or, or are those just skiing goggles for no reason? I don't know. But it's good. I'm down. All right, all right. Now we're going to the art print, which always fan of these. Uh, this is from the fan art collection, done by Rehab, just Rehab. Um, this is called Frightening. Oh, nice! Oh, this is cool. No, this is good. This is good. This is really good. Um, from Fright Night. It's us, Chris Sarandon's character, the the vampire next door. Chris Sarandon's character. I don't know what his... I forget what his name is in that. It's been a little bit since I watched it. Yeah, that looks awesome. That looks really good. And I got number 304 out of 2000. That's nice. That's really nice. And um, uh, people who are into Fright Night, if you don't know... Or the original Fright Night from the 80s. If you don't know, um, there's a really good documentary out there called You're So Cool, Brewster. It's like at least two hours long, it might be a little bit longer, just about the making of Fright Night. Super awesome, really good documentary behind the scenes. And it um, it goes into a lot of uh, detail about the practical effects they used for that film and how they were so cutting edge, which I didn't know that, that for that time they were pioneering a lot of stuff on the set of Fright Night. And it was actually kind of dangerous too, some people got injured. But if you're into, into Fright Night, check out You're So Cool Brewster, it's awesome. I think it's, uh, if you get Shudder, if you subscribe to the Shudder streaming service for horror, I think it's on there right now. All right, now the autograph. Do, do, do. This person's working? Okay. <laughs> Signed by Mark Price, who played Eddie Weinbauer in Trick or Treat. Okay, this guy's still working? Okay. He's doing filming, guys. Okay. Another admission, I have not seen Trick or Treat. I've seen Trick or Treat, the newer film, the anthology one. I have not seen Trick or Treat, which is what this is from. Once again, it's one of those films that's on my list. I will get to it eventually, so, you know, feel free to lambaste me below for not having seen it, but that's, you know, sorry. Um, no, I mean, that's cool. After I watch the film, maybe I'll really love this, but, I mean, I've heard of this movie before, so... It's a good autograph, in my opinion. Okay, let's look at the spoiler sheet, because that is it. Spoiler sheet, the prints. I don't know, it's just like different types of like 80s glasses for the pins. So as you can see, it's got Jason, Freddy, and Elvira on there with different 80s glasses. Then we have over here just the stuff. I mean, that's no big, no biggie. The different prints you could have had signed that one's really cool actually that's really cool i like that one um the different oh the different art prints right here you could have had uh chris randon's character the vampire or evil ed which actually that's a cool variant i would like to have that variant super awesome because that's a great character um yeah and then they were doing a signed uh poster or 8x10 eight eight by photo, sorry. 8x10 photo, Linda Blair from The Exorcist. That was their giveaway, which is a really good giveaway. So, um, overall, yeah, it's a good box. I'm happy with it. I'm usually happy with the horror ones, at least, because um, I'm really, you know, into that. Uh, pin's good. Enjoy that. Um, art print is really good. Love this. This is going on the wall. Big fan. The autograph, I think it's definitely a good autograph. I just need to see that movie. Uh, the koozie, I mean, I'm happy to have a Camp Crystal Lake koozie, but like I said about, like, design could have been a little bit better on it, but I'm not, you know, take this very lightly because I don't make koozies or anything. I don't run boxes like this, so I know it's, you know, it's tough work. So this is good. And then the stuff. 
I, I quite like this because, I mean, they got the logo right on and the stuff is actually not that popular of an 80s horror film, but it should be more popular because it is a lot of fun. People, if you haven't heard of the stuff, you haven't seen it, see it. A lot of fun. Anyway, thank you all for checking this out. I really do appreciate it. If you could help me out just a little bit, literally just take you a second, hit that subscribe, can really help out a lot. I'm trying to do more videos on here, especially more horror-related ones, doing some movie reviews, stuff like that. If you want to throw out some recommendations for movie reviews, make sure you're a subscriber first. You have to be a subscriber, and then you can leave a comment down below or on any video and say, hey, can you do whatever movie I can add it to the list uh, but I'm working on stuff anyway more content all good thumbs up please comment down there let's talk thank you and until next time keep it brutal